Dean Anthony Fatita is an American rock musician and multi-instrumentalist. Fatita was the lead singer and guitarist of the Waxwings from the band's formation in 1997 to its breakup in 2005. Fatita then moved on to collaborate with Brendan Benson playing keyboards and guitar on Benson's solo releases and as a touring keyboard player for the Raconteurs. In 2007 Fatita joined Queens of the Stone Age to replace the late Natasha Schneider on keyboards and occasionally guitar on some songs. Fatita also plays guitar, keyboards and organ with the Dead Weather. In 2009 Fatita released his debut album as a solo artist. Recording career equals Regendants equals, Fatita was a member of the band Regendants from 1990-97. Equals The Wax Wings equals. In 1997 Fatita formed the power pop brand The Wax Wings along with bassist Kevin Payak, drummer James Edmonds and guitarist Dominic Romano. The band's name, as well as the name of their debut record, was derived from the first line of the poem in Vladimir Nabokov's novel Pale Fire, in 2000 the Waxwings signed with Bob Sled Records and began work on their debut album, Low to the Ground, recorded at Terrarium Studios in Minneapolis, Minnesota with Brian Hanna. The albums was featured in Magnet Magazine's Top 20 Albums of 2000-2001. In 2002 the band released their second album Shadows of After the band's release party a letter surfaced, in which Bob Sled Records head, Bob Salerno, ridiculed the band for what he considered to be a poor live performance. The letter gained notoriety after being posted on the internet entertainment forum The Velvet Rope. After the controversy with Salerno the band released their third album, recorded with Brendan Benson, Let's Make Our Descent on Rainbow Courts Records in 2004. In 2005 the band stated on its official website that work had begun on songs for a fourth studio album. Since then members of the band have been involved with other projects and no information regarding the band's status have been released. Equals Brendan Benson collaboration equals. After the Wax Wings broke up in 2004, the titter was recruited by Brendan Benson to play keyboard on Benson's two-man British acoustic tour for Titter and Benson first met each other via mutual friends in high school, and soon established a working relationship. The titter cites Benson as a big influence inspiring him to focus more energy on songwriting instead of loud riffs. When Benson formed the Raconteurs for Titter was recruited to play keyboards and organ on the tour in support of the Broken Boy Soldiers album. The Titter also recorded clavinet parts for the band's second studio album Consolers of the Lonely in 2008. Benson also produced and made several contributions to the Titter's debut solo album. Equals Queens of the Stone Age equals during the tour with the Raconteurs, Fatita got to know the band's sound man Hutch, who is also the longtime sound man of Queens of the Stone Age. In 2007, Hutch asked Fatita to join the Queens of the Stone Age as their new keyboardist and additional guitarist, replacing the late Natasha Schneider. Fatita accepted and along with newly recruited bassist Michael Schumann recorded later bonus tracks. Era Vulgaris was released on June 12, 2007 and was followed by the Duluth Tour, which was named due to the fact that the band was scheduled to perform in many small towns and cities they had never played before, such as Duluth, Minnesota. On August 16, 2008, Queens of the Stone Age performed a concert in celebration of Natasha Schneider's life at the Henry Fonda Theatre in Los Angeles. They were joined on stage by Alan Johannes, Jack Black, Kyle Gass, Matt Cameron, Brody Dorr, Jesse Hughes, Chris Goss and PJ Harvey, playing a variety of QOTSA and non-QOTSA songs. Proceeds from the concert went to defray the costs associated with Natasha Euro unregistered trademark S illness. In 2009 the members of the band took time off and were involved in a variety of other projects, but reconvened in the summer of 2010 to play a number of shows in support of a reissue of Rated R which was released on August 3. They released a remastered version of their first self-titled album early 2011 which was supported with performances of the album in its entirety. In 2013, Queens of the Stone Age released Like Clockwork, their first full album since Fatita joined the band. On the album, Fatita plays piano, guitar, slide guitar, synthesizers, 
clavinet and provides background vocals. The album was the first Queen's album to reach number one on the Billboard 200. It also reached number two on the UK Albums Chart and was nominated for three Grammy Awards, including Best Rock Album. Equals the Dead Weather Equals. In 2009 for Titta along with Jack White on drums, Alison Moshart on lead vocals, and Jack Lawrence on bass formed the Dead Weather. The group originally only intended to record a 7-inch single but plans changed and the band wrote and recorded their debut album in 15 days. The band's debut album, Hawhound, was released July 14, 2009 and was followed by a supporting tour. In October 2009 lead vocalist Moshard confirmed that a second album was halfway done. Later, White revealed in an interview that the band is hoping to have 20 to 25 songs ready for their Australian tour in March 2010. It was later confirmed that the first single from the new album, Sea of Cowards, would be called Die by the Drop, which was released March 30. The Sea of Cowards tour began on March 19, 2010, is ended on August 3, 2010. It included 42 shows over four legs. On September 25, 2015, the Dead Weather released their third studio album Dodge and Burn. Equals Eagles of Death Metal Equals. In June 2010, it was announced that Fatita would fill in on bass playing duties for Brian O'Connor, whilst the Eagles of Death Metal bass player undergoes treatment for cancer. Prior to O'Connor's illness Fatita also made a guest appearance playing keyboards during a performance of Wannabe in L.A. After returning to the Queens of the Stone Age Fatita was replaced by Abby Travis. Equals as a solo artist equals. In 2009 Fatita released his first solo effort under the moniker Hello Equals Fire, the album was recorded over a period of a year and a half and was recorded when Fatita along with friends found available time in studios. However some songs were written as early as 2005 and 2006 while touring with Brendan Benson. The album includes performances by fellow Queens of the Stone Age bandmates Troy Van Leeuwen, Joey Castillo and Michael Schumann, as well as Brendan Benson and the Afghan Whigs Michael Horrigan. The self-titled album was released October 26, 2009 on Schnitzel Records. And the song Nature of Our Minds was its first single. Fatita had plans to play a number of concerts in support of the album during the break from Queens of the Stone Age however after joining the Dead whether the planned live performances were cancelled. In 2010, Fatita re-recorded the Waxwing song Different Plane for the Novelis Radio Surgery Shaping Cancer Care Around the Hour Euro National Television Commercial, currently running in the United States. In 2011 Fatita revealed that he had begun working on a second solo album but his main focus was to write and record the sixth record with the Queens of the Stone Age. Musical Equipment While playing with the raconteurs Fatita primarily played a Fender Rhodes electric piano and a Korg synthesizer as well as a Gibson Hummingbird acoustic guitar. Fatita is also credited for playing clavinet on the band's second album, Consolers of the Lonely. With Queens of the Stone Age Fatita has been seen playing a Moog Little Fatty synthesizer and a Clavia Nord Electro 2 through a set of Piave amplifiers. However more recently he has been seen playing a Korg SV-1 and an unidentifiable electric piano as well as the Little Fatty. For guitars, he has used a Gibson SG in Matten BB-1200 through an Ampeg combo, but was seen playing a Yamaha Holobody through a Fender Twin Reverb amplifier on their most recent tour. With the dead weather, Fatita plays a custom-built Gretsch White Falcon originally built for a number of live performances by Jack White and Alicia Keys to perform the theme song for the James Bond film Quantum of Solace, Another Way to Die. For keyboards, he uses the Moog Little Fatty, a Wellitzer electric piano, and a vintage Korg CX-3 organ. Fatita's ptal board includes a Dunlop Roto-Vibe, a white-painted G-Tech Whammy, a Voodoo Lab Tremolo, an Electro Harmonics Nano Bass Bells, a white painted Big Muff, Micro POG, a Boss TU2 Tuner, and a MXA Micro Amp. For amplification Fatita uses two Fender Twin Reverbs. Discography References External links, HelloCarlsFire.com, the official Hello Equals Fire site, TheDeadWeather.com, the official Dead Weather site, Coatsa.com, the official QOTSA site. TheWaxWings.com, 
the official Waxwing site.